Okay, so today we're working on cleaning up the aluminum panels down on the bottom of the bus, the bay doors and things. Um, this is anodized aluminum, so it's really hard. It's different than just plain aluminum. Um, it's super, super hard. And we're not trying to polish it to a mirror finish. Um, we have to remove the anodizing to do that. So what we're doing is just trying to clean it. It's probably hasn't really been cleaned in, um, you know, 35 years, 38 years, I don't know. Um, in fact, we're even finding paint, paint drips from like the original paint job that are still stuck on here. So we're just trying to clean it and shine it up. It should have a kind of a satin sheen um, when it's all clean. There are some places where there are some gouges and um, just little pitting marks. And we can't do much about those, but we can at least clean it and get it to kind of shine up a bit. So what we're doing is we're starting by kind of doing a wet sand with um, three different sandpapers. We're starting with 320 and then moving to 600 and then 2000 just with a spray bottle of water and sandpaper and doing that all by hand. Um, and then after we go through all three of those sandpapers, um, what did I say, 320, 600, and 2000. Then we're using um, a high speed buffer and um, red rouge to clean it even further and kind of buff it out. Normally that would be used for actually cutting the aluminum to a shine, um, but for the anodized aluminum, it's just kind of giving it a really good buffing. And then after that, then we are hand polishing it with just um, like the mother's um, metal and aluminum polish and polishing it up by hand. And then the last step we're doing is this product called Wipe New that you can just get at Walmart um, that some guys on the bus forum recommended for kind of cleaning and shining up the aluminum. Um, some people just use this to just kind of put over, you know, to kind of clean it and um, make it shiny again. But ours was in such bad condition that we decided to take the time and really um, clean it and shine it up as best as we could and use this more as like a last step protectant. Um, it's a little expensive, but we got it, I think, I think normally it's like 20 bucks for, you know, a little bottle of it, um, but we found it on sale for $8, so not too bad. Um, so we're gonna get going on this. We've done some panels, but we're still working on others. So I'm sanding and then Juan's coming in and doing the buffing and then we're both working on polishing and then we'll do the wipe new when we're all done. All right, so this is kind of a before of what the panels look like. They're a little scratched and they're a little dented and stuff like that, but mostly they're really dingy. So we've been working on cleaning them up. We're working on the rear of the bus now. We did the front of the bus earlier, and I'll show you what that kind of ends up looking like. All right, so the second step that we're doing is just polishing um, the anodized part, and it isn't really polishing it. Um, it's more or less just really deep cleaning it. So we're using what you would normally use to polish aluminum, and that's one of these airway pads. Um, this is just a seven inch grinder from I think Harbor Freight, I didn't want to buy a really good one because doing this stuff tends to be really hard on the grinders. So we got this grinder and I am using, um, so Rouge. So this is just a, a polishing bar. It's a cutting bar technically. So on the stuff that isn't anodized, meaning when they put new rivets on and those rivets weren't anodized, um, this will actually get those to shine. Um, the other stuff though, the anodizing is so hard that it just, all it does really is just clean it. So it's been cleaning it really well for us. So unfortunately this is really loud and our neighbors have a baby. So we've been limited in when we can run it and stuff. So we've been talking to them and trying to correlate with their nap schedule and stuff. So we try to be as good as neighbors as we can. Um, this bar, um, it will cut, um, but it will not cut through the anodizing. The anodizing is super, super hard. So anyway, this is how we clean it up. Um, after this, we'll go back and hand polish with just a uh, mother's mag aluminum polish. 
and then So this is after buffing and polishing, but we have not put wipe new on. Now there are still gouges and stuff like that and scratches and stuff and part of us is just accepting that this is a 55 year old bus and it's going to have some of that stuff. So we're not trying to get it perfect, we're just trying to get it to look a little better and I think it has been looking quite a bit better. It might be a little too bright out here to see. but. It's been cleaning it up quite a bit. So this is the door handle and you can see where it's been damaged right here how the polisher polished up that where the aluminum where the anodizing had kind of worn through. So anyway if we get ambitious uh, we may polish out this bump out but that's a lot of work. So we haven't decided yet if we're gonna take that on. We also think that some of these panels were replaced at some point and they used different rivets. So you can see the rivets that were not anodized are nice and silvery. They're like, they got polished to a mirror finish while the anodized stuff just kinda of got buffed out and cleaned as opposed to uh, being mirrored. But you can see that these rivets are not the original rivets, although they are aluminum, and they polish up. So on this, we know that it's anodized because when we look at the towel, it's not black, except for where the rivets, which are not anodized, kind of polish up. So we can see some of the rivets actually have like a shine to them and those will polish but the anodizing should just work to clean it up and just kind of give it a little bit of a wax to protect it.